channel I hope you're having a wonderful day welcome back to my decluttering so if you missed my last video I decluttered my entire shoe collection you can watch that right here and I will also leave it down in the description below if you want to see my entire shoe collection or if you want to see me get rid of some shoes then make sure to check out the video I have lots of decluttering videos coming your way because I am doing a massive clean out it's been um, two to three years since I did my last one and things accumulate. In this video I will be sharing my jewelry collection and decluttering my entire collection. I have a lot of jewelry. I have a lot of everything to be honest. Lots of clothes, lots of shoes, lots of handbags, lots of jewelry. And before I begin I do want to make a disclaimer. I made this in my other video as well. I do this full time for my job. I have been a fashion blogger for over eight years and since then a lot of things have accumulated and I had a lot of um, clothing and items like that before I even started so some of this stuff I've had for a decade or more and yeah I just felt like right now was the right time to kind of declutter my life and so that is what I'm doing. But I never ever want you to feel bad whenever you look at my closet or how much stuff I have. Um, I just want you to know that this is not normal. This is what I do for a living and I just have a lot of stuff. And to be honest, it's been really hard for me to get rid of stuff and that's why I've kind of held on to it. But I never want you to feel feel bad or feel like you need all of this to be happy or that you constantly need to have a lot of stuff in your life to feel fulfilled. That's definitely not the message that I want to send out there. Okay, so now that we've got that all squared away, let's go ahead and get into the video because it's a pretty long one. Also, if you are wondering what I do with all of the stuff that I get rid of, I do quite a few things. I like to donate, I consign, I give some of it away, and I sell some of it. Um, my Poshmark will be linked below if you want to check that out because I will be putting some stuff up there. So this is what we're working with. <laughs> I have a lot of jewelry. A lot. So this declutter is definitely much needed. So this is my pink jewelry box and I always get so many questions about it so I'll be sure to leave a link in the description for you. It is so beautiful and amazing and it's just incredible. And I also have a review video as well so I can leave that in the description as well. So to be completely honest, all of my um, nicer jewelry is in this box and all of the jewelry that I use on a consistent basis is also in this box so I'm probably not going to get rid of too much but I know that a lot of you are going to want to see the collection so I will just go ahead and show you what's in here. Um, also, I have a lot of jewelry, so I'm not going to go through every single piece individually, um, but I will do my best to show you what I have. And yeah, okay. So in these quadrants, I have my designer vintage clip-on earrings. I collect designer um, jewelry, like vintage jewelry, and I have a lot of really pretty um, clip-on earrings. I do have a full video about that as well if you want to see what they look like on. So these are all vintage Dior and they have um, the really beautiful kind of like iridescent pearl that they use. They're so pretty. This one's actually vintage Givenchy and I just love the bow. These two are vintage Chanel and they're both so, so beautiful. This one is actually a more recent addition to my collection. I just really loved the bow and the rhinestone drop. These are vintage Givenchy and I think that they are absolutely beautiful. I really love this gorgeous purple one. This one is actually vintage Dior. It's so absolutely stunning. This one is vintage Givenchy. This is vintage Dior. And these two are modern. <laughs> this one is from a brand called Le Conde Victoire. It's a French brand. And they make lots of really beautiful um, floral, like, 
hair accessories and then this is from Huge Tomato and I just did a mini review on them. These are also vintage Christian Dior and they are absolutely beautiful, so feminine. I just love them. So now we're getting into rings and these are my really nice rings. So this one is super special. It is my engagement ring and my wedding band. My husband picked them out himself and I still love it so, so much. Our 10 year anniversary is coming up in May. Both of these are from Angara. This is a really beautiful aquamarine and then this is Morganite. I am obsessed. They both look like princess rings and I just love them. This is a beautiful Herkimer diamond ring from Olivia Mar Jewelry. She has the most beautiful jewelry, lots of gorgeous custom made pieces and these are all rose gold bands from varying brands. These are all gold bands and they have some form of sparkle. I love this little one with the flowers and this one is a set. And these are some silver bands and I love all the little rainbow stones. They're so cute. These are more unique rings. I absolutely love the florals here. I think they're so beautiful. This is my newest one. So this is a birthstone ring from Anthropology. My birthday's in June, so of course it's pearl, but there are other birthstones for June as well. I thought it was absolutely stunning. It comes with three little um, rings, so you can mix and match. And this is kind of like a similar concept, and then these are just gemstones. These two are my silver bow rings. I think they are adorable. These are all of my pink rings, and I think they're adorable. Obviously, none of them are real, <laughs> but um, they are really, really pretty, and they're kind of like a fun spin on a cocktail ring. These are all Moissanite rings, and I really love the vintage look of them. These two are also Moissanite, and then this is just a blue-toned gemstone. Now we're getting into my more unique rings and cocktail rings. This one is from Anna Carolina Valencia. She has the most beautiful jewelry and this is the matching cuff. I also have a necklace um, that goes with it. I'll show you that later. These two are from Bobble Bar. I went to visit them during New York Fashion Week and I got to pick these out. So these rings were super popular years ago and I still love it so I'm going to keep it. And this one has these really pretty blue gemstones all the way around. This one is from Kendra Scott and then these two, I can't remember they're older but I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those two. I can't remember who the designer of this ring is, but I got it when I first started blogging and I just love it. It's so different and such a statement piece. These are all from German Kabirski. Some of them I have matching necklaces and bracelets, but they're in a different drawer. I just love all the different colors. And this is my Chanel brooch. It has all of these beautiful pearls on it. There's some pink tones in there. It is so, so pretty. This was a gift from my husband many years ago. I absolutely love Hello Kitty. I have a Hello Kitty planner. I have Hello Kitty everything, and I still love this necklace so much. Okay, so now we have three more drawers to go through and there's a lot. <laughs> this top one has a lot of my smaller necklaces, so I'm not going to go through every single one individually because it would be too hard for the camera to focus, but I do have a lot of really pretty dainty um, necklaces up here. These are some of the bigger ones. So over here I have some um, necklaces from Sequin Jewelry. This one has some really beautiful colorful stones and this one has more uh, pink tone stones. This is my favorite initial necklace. I love the heart shape. And this one is from Lily Sadugi. I absolutely adore this necklace. It's one of my very favorites. This one, actually, I think both of these are actually from Sequin Jewelry. I absolutely love pearls, so you will see a lot of pearls in my collection. And these two are tennis necklaces. Here's a better look, and actually I have three of them. <laughs> um, a couple of them have matching bracelets, but they are so, so pretty. On this side, I have some simple little pendants, and then this one, these are more like fun <laughs> type of necklaces. So, um... There's some Kendra Scott, um, heart shapes, lots of flowers, and then I have another little chain here. Um, this one is actually Beauty and the Beast inspired. 
And then over here are all of my initial necklaces. So I have um, lots of E's, but I also have an L as well because Lizzie, <laughs> Elizabeth, so I have both. And then on this side, I have lots of really pretty flower pendants and then a couple of pearls. And then I have more Kendra Scott over here. Uh, this is another little sequin um, a heart necklace. This one is also Disney. It's a little locket. It's really, really cute. I don't know if I can open it up at this angle. There we go. So this is also Beauty and the Beast inspired. These are matching sets and some bracelets. So this is a matching pearl necklace and bracelet set from Kate Spade. This is just another <laughs> um, tennis bracelet. Then I have some fine jewelry in here. So this is a matching necklace and bracelet set. This one is also a matching necklace and bracelet. It's like a really tiny tennis set. And then I have I think these are both bracelets. Yeah, these are both bracelets from German Kabirski that go with the rings. And in here, I have some really delicate bracelets. This is a really gorgeous floral Kate Spade bracelet. I have some pearls, um, some Kendra Scott. These are just like some jewels and another little tennis bracelet. A lot of you really liked this when I shared it. I think it was last year. And then this one is just some really pretty purple stones. This one has some anklets and some bracelets. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. It's really pretty, but it's kind of hard for me to get on. And then in here, I have some really cute anklets with butterflies and pearls. Um, lots of really cute ones. Ooh. Yeah, these are super cute. And down here are some of my oldest bracelets and some that were gifts from a really, really long time ago. Lots of Art Deco inspiration. And another tennis bracelet. And then this one is super, super special. It's emeralds and diamonds. This is from my great grandmother. This drawer has a lot of my favorite statement pieces. I also have this really beautiful hair clip. <laughs> one of my very favorites. And this is also a personalized hair clip. So I'll start with this side. So this one is from Juicy Couture. It is one of my absolute favorites. I've had it for, oh my gosh, so long. <laughs> and then this one, I think it's from Chloe and Isabel. I still really, really love it. This is an older one from Kate Spade. I thought it was super, super cute. Over here are some pink jewels. And I just love the colors. This is one of my absolute favorite bracelets. I also really love this one. I've had it forever. It's very vintage looking. This is also a Juicy Couture. And I have worn this so many times. I, oh my gosh, I just love it so much. And this is also Chloe and Isabel. And they have the matching necklace. These two are newer necklaces from Kate Spade. I just really loved the colors. I thought this one was so much fun. And I love the flowers on this one. This is the matching necklace for um, that Chloe and Isabel bracelet and this is this really beautiful like emerald choker and these are all gold chokers this is from Carolina Valencia and I love all the pearls it is so stunning on it's just beautiful this is from sequin jewelry and this one is from una de 50 it's a bird it's so pretty and down here i have lots of pearls and chains and um some heirloom jewelry this one is from sequin jewelry it's one of my favorite pearl necklaces it's just stunning this one was a gift this one is also from sequin jewelry and this one is from French Candy, and this is one of my all-time favorites. This was a gift from a friend. This was actually a gift from one of my blog readers years ago. Both of these are so pretty. I love the colors. And this one is also from Juicy Couture. So many years ago, I have worn it more times than I can count. One of my favorite necklaces of all times. And then this one is from Sequin Jewelry. I love all the colorful stones. These are a recent edition from Huge Tomato. I love all the pastel shades. These are Baroque Pearls from Sequin. And... This is a little necklace set. This is kind of like a little beachy necklace. 
with some shells. Um, these are from Sequin as well. And then I have a little tiny like delicate pearl necklace and this one is a vintage set of pearls. These are all of my really special pearls. This is a vintage Givenchy pearl necklace and it's kind of a longer pearl necklace. And then this one is just a vintage necklace from my great grandmother. This one is also from my great grandmother. It is vintage Givenchy and it is very unique. It has like a snake closure. Very beautiful. And this one is actually um, a vintage set of pearls that I was given that was broken and I made it into a necklace for my prom. This is pretty much the color of my dress. <laughs> it was a really pretty kind of like hot pink Jessica McClintock dress and I also made gloves as well and I put um, some pink bows on them. For some reason I have a crazy amount of chain necklaces. <laughs> So this one has a pretty little like sparkly disc and this one has a baroque pearl. This one has a lot of really pretty rhinestones throughout and this one has a little rhinestone detail at the bottom and then this one is just plain. I feel like I don't need all of these. I'm going to try this one on but I might get rid of it. All right I think we're all done with the pink jewelry box. Let's move on to watches. Okay, so to be honest, I'm probably not going to get rid of a ton of watches either, but I will go ahead and show you what I have in here. So this one is from Alfred Sung. This is Christian Paul, Alfred Sung, Kate Spade, and Christian Paul. This one I think is Anne Klein, and this one is Kate Spade. This is my favorite watch of all time. It's just absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one was actually a gift. This is Thum and then Christian Paul. So as you can tell, I love sparkle. <laughs> I love um, sparkle and florals, lots of pink, lots of white, pretty much anything that goes with my closet. Down here I have Kate Spade. This one has a really cute little pineapple perfect for the summertime. This is class 14, Christian Paul, Eddie Borgo, uh, Ruby Lane, and then Victoria Emerson. On second thought, I think I actually might get rid of a couple. So this one, I don't really wear that often. So I might get rid of that one. And then this one, it's really cute, but I already have a lot of pink. So I'm going to try it on and see how I feel. Okay, now we're going to start with the vault. <laughs> so there's a lot in here. Um, there's a lot of jewelry, but there's also brooches and sunglasses and things like that. So yeah, <laughs> I have my work cut out for me. The top tray has a lot of earrings and then my overflow of rings. I actually do not have my ears pierced and I've been hoarding these earrings in hopes that I would eventually get it done, but I haven't done it yet. So I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of earrings. Maybe not from this box, but I do have more earrings <laughs> elsewhere. Um, so let's see, let's start with this top tray. Okay, so I think it's gonna be easier if I do it this way. <laughs> So these rings are duplicates of the set that I already have in my pink jewelry box, but it's my favorite set. So I'm going to keep those. I do have kind of like a lot of boho style, so I'm probably going to get rid of those. Probably part with that one, that one. I'm going to try that one on and see what it looks like. Part with these two, probably that one, that one. I need to try that on. That's also a duplicate. Get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. <laughs> try it on try it on. And then this one, I think I can get rid of that one. I do like that one, so I'll probably keep it. Probably keep that one as well. I'll keep that one. This one is uh, vintage, so I'll keep that. This one is also vintage, so I'll keep that. These are like little tiny midi rings, and this is the same set, but in pink. I got them from Anthropology years ago. I'm gonna keep them because they're really cute. Um, this one, probably gonna get rid of that. Probably get rid of that one too. I think I will keep this one. I'm gonna look in my pink jewelry box and make sure that I don't have the same one in there. This one, maybe keep that one. Get rid of that one. Maybe keep that. Get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of, get rid of. <laughs> 
Um, need to try that one on. I actually got this one in Oregon when I went to meet my dad and my family for the first time. So I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> it's kind of sentimental. Probably keep that one. That was a gift. This one is really cute. I think I need to try it on. That one is from when I was really, really little. It was a gift. So I'll keep that one. I will get rid of that one. This one is a little bit too big on my hand. <laughs> so I'm going to try that one on and see if I still like it. I do like that one. So I'll keep it. Keep 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 this is from new york fashion week it was from one of the designers so i'm going to keep that one i will keep both of these and now we get into earrings so these are both kendra scott and i do want to keep some nicer earrings just in case i pierce my ears so i'll probably keep those i might keep these i might get rid of them i'm not really sure i really do like the look of them this one i've had this for a while um, I think I might just go ahead and get rid of it. And over here, I really love these. So I'm going to keep them. I do like these as well. Um, these are a maybe. These are also a maybe. I think they're really pretty. I will keep these. I will keep these as well. These are some hoops. I'm probably going to keep those. I might part with these two. I think I might keep these just because they're so unique. I will keep these. I'll keep these. These are also Kendra Scott. I will keep those. I will maybe keep these. I do really like all of these and actually I use my um, like little earrings like this as brooches sometimes. So I'm probably going to keep all of these because they're still very much my style and they look really cute. And I have a whole video about that actually and there's some really fun ideas. So I'll link that for you in the description. Down here, I also have another little necklace and I think I can get rid of that too. This tray has a lot of my dainty and delicate necklaces. There's a lot of gifts from when I was younger and then there's also a lot of like boho jewelry. So I feel like sometimes my style can lean a little boho um, on the weekends. I love maxi dresses and boots and that sort of thing, but I don't think I necessarily need a lot of bohemian jewelry. It's really, really pretty, but I just find that I don't reach for it as much as I thought I would. I usually just go for something a little more simple when I wear those types of outfits. So more than likely, I'm going to get rid of a lot of this. So over here are all of my sentimental um, necklaces and I think, I mean I'm going to keep them all but I think I'm going to put them in a different jewelry box so that they're contained because I don't really reach for them that much but I do want to keep them. So this is like my sweet 16 necklace, this is a musical necklace my mom got for me, um, little Gemini, big sis this really pretty um, vintage pendant my great grandma gave me, lots of heart jewelry, and then this is another vintage necklace. So this one I'm probably going to get rid of. These two, I'm going to try them on, but just looking at it, I kind of like this one better. So we'll see. <laughs> These, so I think this one is just like a little jeweled necklace. So I will keep that because that's really good for layering. Probably get rid of this one. The little key, I'll keep that. The heart, I'll keep that. I do like heart jewelry. <laughs> this is a needle and thread necklace. You can see the little button right there. I'll keep that. I will probably get rid of this one. This one is actually really pretty. It's kind of like a lariat necklace. Um, so I will keep that one. This one, I think I like it too, but I do need to try it on. The little moon, I need to try that on as well. And over here, I think these are like just little jeweled layering necklaces. So I will keep all of those. These, I need to try them on. I'm probably going to get rid of that one. Might keep that one. This one, I'll probably keep. And actually, you know what? I probably need to look at all of these to make sure they're not too similar. This one I really do like. I've had it for years. It's one of my favorites, so I'll keep that one. This one, probably gonna get rid of. Uh, this one, I need to try it on, but I might keep that one. And this one, I think I might keep that. Probably keep that one. And I think I'll keep that. So a lot of these, I'm gonna try them on off camera <laughs> because I think it's gonna take too long. But yeah, don't worry. At the end, I'll show you all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. So this is the tray under the previous tray. <laughs> and the necklaces are a bit larger. Wow, I don't even know where to start. Okay, so this one is a little choker. It's really cute, so I will keep that one. Um, these, I really do like them. 
I'm gonna try them on. These are chains and I need to try these on. I might get rid of like this one. I'll keep one of them and probably get rid of the other ones. This is another initial necklace. I will keep that of course. This is a pretty locket that I just got recently so I will keep that. Uh, here's another initial. I'm gonna try it on. It is a little large but it is very cute. This is my vintage bow necklace so definitely <laughs> keeping that one. And right here I have a Kendra Scott pendant. It's very pretty. I'm gonna try it on. Um, I do really like this one. Another Kendra Scott. This one, I think I'm going to try that one on. I'm probably going to try all of these on, to be honest. These are German Kabirsky. Um, some of them match the bracelets and rings that I have. I will keep all of those. They're very, very pretty on. These are lots of little coin necklaces, which I feel like were trendy uh, for the last couple of years, but I haven't seen them much anymore. I do have a lot of these here and hanging on one of my little necklace stands so I need to go through all of them off camera but I'm probably going to get rid of some of them and then keep some of them as well. So this one is just like a little pink layering necklace. I do like that one. There's a lot of little coin necklaces here and I actually think that I prefer the daintier ones over the bigger ones. I don't know. I need to try those. <laughs> this one is newer. It is so cute. It has a little bow and a pearl. Very, very pretty. These are all, I think, choker style. It's hard to see them like this, but I'm probably going to get rid of quite a few of these. Uh, I do like the pearls though, and I do like the little sparkle right there. This is the next tray, and this one houses all of my, well not all of them, <laughs> but all the rest of my clip-on earrings, and actually I did did do a whole video about my um, vault and how I organize it and everything so I will link that for you in the description if you want to watch it. So I have some really pretty kind of like silver clip-on earrings here. I love these bows. They're so cute. And these are kind of like art deco style. Uh, these are some florals, vintage coro, and um, these are unnamed, but they are just dreamy. These are new. So these are from Huge Tomato. They're handmade. They're really pretty. This is a bohemian style. I forgot which brand it's by, but they're really, really cute. I love wearing them on vacation. They look amazing with like beach dresses and that sort of thing. So these are my gold pearly floral bow earrings. They were so cute. Both of these have pearls and bows, but they look very different. So definitely going to keep those. I love these little florals and these are actually a newer addition. I got them uh, whenever I took some stuff to the consignment store. I picked these up. They're so cute. These are a duplicate of the earrings that I have in my pink box because I love them. So I have a backup pair. These are both cameo earrings from Hobe and yeah, I don't know where this one's from. These are from Lily Sadugi. I am obsessed. They have such a 60s look to them. They're so cute. These are vintage Escada and I absolutely love the bow and the pearl. They are massive <laughs> but they're really really cute. And then some pearly flowers. These are also from Huge Tomato. They're very pretty on and these are vintage Givenchy. Very beautiful. These are actually from Sequin Jewelry and then these I believe are Coro. And here's a quick look at the sunglasses underneath. I go in more detail in my other video so I'm not going to share too much here. And in the bottom tray I have some bracelets and some brooches. So over here I have a really pretty charm bracelet. This is from Sequin. This one, I can't remember where it's from. I think it's from Roxbox, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. I really love the pearls on that one. This is J. Crew. This is a vintage brooch. This one is Kate Spade, of course. These, I don't remember where I got them. I might get rid of these two. I think they're a set. This is a really cute brooch. I think it's from Chloe and Isabel. This is an antique brooch. <laughs> so this is very, very old, very pretty. These are really cute. I'm gonna try them on because I haven't worn them in a while. I used to wear them all the time, but I haven't worn them in, I can't even remember the last time. So I might say goodbye to them. This is vintage, I wanna say it's Givenchy. And then this is Kate Spade. This is also Kate Spade. <laughs> so I have the rose gold and the gold. I do love them. And then this is a really beautiful cameo brooch from my mom. And this is, I think this is Carolee. Very pretty vintage bow brooch. This is a Coro bracelet. 
absolutely stunning. This is a vintage bow brooch. This is, oh, it's from that set with the, um, the floral rings. These are very pretty. And down here I have more sunglasses, but this is a jewelry video, <laughs> so I'm not going to talk too much about them. Okay, so this is my little tiered earring tray. <laughs> um, up here I have these really cute, they're hair accessories that um, someone made for me. They're very, very cute. And then I have some vintage hat pins, so I will keep those. Now these are flip on. I'm going to try them on and see if I still love them. Uh, these are little huggies. I might get rid of those. The flowers, I love the flowers. I'm gonna keep the pink ones for sure. Might say goodbye to the purple, but I really do like them. And then back here, I have these ice cream cone earrings. They are clip-on. I'm definitely going to keep those. I love wearing them during the summertime. These, I really love these flowers and the hoops are actually removable, but I don't know. I might keep them to use as brooches, but I also might get rid of them. So who knows? These, I think I might finally say goodbye. <laughs> And these, I also absolutely love them. I love floral everything, but I might say goodbye to them. And, oh, another butterfly. Um, these, I thought these were also clip-on, but I guess not. So I'm going to get rid of those. And then these are really cute. I might get rid of them though. And you are never going to believe this, but I found a full matching Givenchy set, vintage. Beautiful, pristine, mint condition, never used. I love it so much. <laughs> so it has like this really beautiful um, bow with some rhinestones. There's a choker, matching bracelet, and then two matching clip-on earrings. Absolutely dreamy. So this has been kept in the case since it was bought pretty much. However, I will be wearing it. I know that that kind of takes the value down a little bit, but I believe in wearing your favorite pieces. And this is definitely going to be one of mine. <laughs> These are some of my newer jewelry pieces, aside from this one. <laughs> I just forgot to share this one earlier because I had it out, but these are mostly new. So this is a vintage floral necklace with some pearls. And then this one is actually from Sequin Jewelry. They had a crazy good sale, um, so I got it. <laughs> and then these are some personalized items from Bubble Bar. They have the most amazing personalized jewelry, blankets, pretty much everything. So it has my name, Lizzie, and then E. Absolutely love it. This one has Lizzie on it. It's a bracelet. And then these are some tennis bracelets. So this is just the normal one. And then this one has an E on it. Here is one of my bracelet bars. So I do actually wear a lot of this jewelry, um, especially the pearls. This is my favorite pearl bracelet. It is from Sequin. It's really gorgeous. This is from Kate Spade. I love it. And then this one is Kendra Scott. This one's a bobble bar. Uh, this set was made from one of my followers. They are so pretty. She makes the cutest jewelry. This is a Kendra Scott set. Might get rid of this because I don't wear it that often. These are some personalized bracelets from Bobble Bar. And then these, I think these all might be from Bobble Bar. I wear a lot of the pink and a lot of the... Um, kind of like white ones. Some of the pastel ones, I don't really wear a lot of the colorful ones and there's some doubles in here. So I'm probably going to get rid of all the doubles and maybe like some of the colorful ones that I don't wear that often. And this is the second one. It's a little more random. <laughs> so this one has these really cute cuffs. These are both from Montraband. And this one says La Vie Belle. This one is have courage and be kind. My favorite quote um, from my favorite Disney princess. <laughs> this is a cute little bow cuff. I've had it forever. And then these, this is from, what was Nicole Richie's brand? I forgot what it was, but it's, it's from that. And it's really pretty. And I used to wear it all the time, but I don't wear it that often anymore. So I might get rid of these because I have a really small hand. So bangles are pretty hard for me to wear because they just fall off. These are both vintage collars and they're kind of just on here because I didn't know where to put them. So I'm probably going to put them somewhere else, but they're very, very pretty. Just 
gorgeous. These are all bangles. Both of these are from when I was younger. So this one I've had since childhood. This one was my mom's. I'm going to keep those in a separate jewelry case with all of my other jewelry like that. These are all Kate Spade and I bought them secondhand on Poshmark many, many years ago. I wore them a lot. I do still really like them, but I don't wear them a lot. So I'm not sure. That's a maybe. I might keep them just in case. And then this one, I do really love it, but it is kind of worn out. So I might get rid of that one. And this is just a pile. <laughs> Normally, I don't store my jewelry like this, but I remember I was like going through it <laughs> one day and then I just got so overwhelmed. So I think a lot of this I'll be getting rid of, but let me show you a closer look. Just kidding. These were pendant necklaces that used to hang on my wall in our old apartment <laughs> and I just didn't know where to put them. <laughs> okay, so I have this scalloped bracelet. I used to wear it a lot. Um, might keep it, might get rid of it, not sure. That's really old, so I'm gonna say goodbye. I do like both of these. They have kind of like a 20s vibe to them, so I don't know. I might keep both. I might keep just one. These are all Kendra Scott. I have worn them all quite a bit. I do really like this one. I think it's very pretty. This one, I think I might get rid of. And then this one, I might keep it because I don't have many pendant necklaces. So I don't know. This one looks good with a lot. This one is very pretty, but I think I'm going to say goodbye. This one is also really pretty. I do love the pearl details. I need to try it on. Um, I do like it, but I also have a lot of jewelry. <laughs> and then both of these are from J. Crew. I don't know if you remember when these were super popular, but I wore them all the time. Really, really love them. Still do. This one is a little bit large for me. I'm going to try it on and see if I still like it. This one's really pretty. I'm going to try it on as well. And then this one, kind of one of those boho pieces. I did used to wear it a lot. It is very pretty, but I think I might get rid of it. And lastly, we have my necklace bars. <laughs> So many necklaces on here. Oh my goodness. So these are like some daintier pieces and then these are definitely more statement necklaces that I've just been holding on to. I feel like with my statement necklaces, I have to be really brutal because they take up a lot of space and I have a lot of them. <laughs> okay, this matches the earrings right here. <laughs> I do really like it. I think it's really pretty. I might keep it. This one, definitely keeping. I absolutely love it. It's from Bobble bar. I love all the pink. It is beautiful. This one I used to wear all the time and I really, really loved it, but I think I might get rid of it. And then this one I used to wear all the time too, but I just, I don't know. I think I might get rid of it. These two are from Victoria Emerson. So for some reason, I really, really love this one. It's almost like a collar and it looks vintagey to me. It's very pretty. I'm going to try it on, but I think I'm probably going to keep it. This one is very cute and dainty, but if I'm going to go for a statement necklace, then it's got to be a statement. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get rid of that one. I do really like this one. It reminds me of like a snow princess. This is from Bobble Bar. I'm going to try it on. This one, I really, really love it. It's from Stella and Dot. I love the colors. I think it's so pretty. Uh, I'm also going to try this one on. This one is from J. Crew, and it might look familiar. <laughs> might give you like a 2010s flashback because every single blogger had this necklace. I remember when I first started my blog, actually before, um, when I first started my first blog <laughs> back in 2013, this necklace was everywhere and I was totally influenced by other influencers. <laughs> this one, I think it's Chloe and Isabel. It is really pretty. So um, this chain is kind of simple, but I do like this. So I don't know. This is a maybe. I wonder if I can put that on a pearl necklace or something. Uh, this one, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. I used to wear it all the time, but I think it's had its time with me. This one is also J. Crew, And for some reason, I really love it. I love the colors. I think it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to try this one on. This one is an oldie from Roxbox. I do think it's really, really pretty. And it was probably my most worn statement necklace. I'm going to try it on and see if I still love it. This one. 
I am never getting rid of this necklace. I don't know why, but I just love it so much. I got it from Anthropology, and I don't know, it's just so different and so feminine and whimsical. And this one, I think this is also Chloe and Isabel. I really love the colors. I think it's a really nice fall necklace. I'm going to try it on because I do still really like this one. This was also another Anthropology find back in the day. And I love it. Definitely not getting rid of this one. I actually wore it for Halloween when I was a princess <laughs> and everyone loved it. I really love this necklace too. I think it's still very much my style. It's really, really pretty. This one is also from Chloe and Isabel. Has the matching earrings right here. And then this one, I believe is from Stella and Dot. I think it's really pretty, but it never really was my style. I don't know why I kept it but yeah it's really pretty so I'm gonna get rid of that one I used to wear this one all the time I do still think it's really pretty but I think that it had its time with me so I think I'm gonna let go of it this one is really really cute but I actually never really wore it so I'm gonna say goodbye to that one this one I still think is really cute there's a lot of little hearts on it I'm gonna try it on I think that I might keep this one and this one was also another favorite that I wore all the time I just absolutely loved it I think I might get rid of this one though this was another old favorite and it totally was not missing a stone I don't know where that went because these have literally just been hanging on my necklace bar. So yeah, I, I do really like it. I'm going to look for the little jewel and see if I can find it. And if so, I'm going to glue it back on, but I don't know. I might keep it or I might just say goodbye. <laughs> um, this one is really pretty, but I think it had its time with me. So I'm going to say goodbye to that one. This is a little choker. I'm going to try it on. It is really pretty. So who knows? This one... I think it's really pretty, but I didn't wear it a lot, or at least I don't remember wearing it a lot, so I think I'm going to part with it. This one is really pretty, but I think I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And then this one, I do remember wearing it all the time because it went with everything, but... I think that I had a good run with it and it's time for me to part with it. This one, um, it's really cute, but I never really wore it. I just didn't feel like it was my style. So I'm going to say goodbye to that. I did really love this one and I still do. However, I just noticed when I put this up here, one of the stones is missing. What is going on with my jewelry? <laughs> this never happens. And literally these have just been hanging. So I don't know where it went, but I'm going to see if I can find it. If not, then out it goes. This is another one that I used to wear all the time. I absolutely loved it. I think I'm going to try this one on. So this is a maybe. This one is super unique, really fun, definitely a statement, and I got a lot of wear out of it. It still looks really great, so I'm going to get rid of that one because I don't think it's me anymore. This one is really pretty, but I just, I don't reach for it and I don't see myself reaching for it, so I'm going to get rid of that one as well. And then this one, I wore so much. <laughs> this is probably one of my all-time favorites. I do still really like it, but I just don't think I'm going to reach for it anymore in the future. I think it had its time, so I'm going to say goodbye. You know what? I am really proud of myself. <laughs> At first, I was kind of scared, but now I'm doing good. Okay, now we're getting into some of the more delicate ones. So this one, I want to say this is actually a newer one, and I do like all the colored stones. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one is super old. <laughs> I don't know I'm gonna try to see if I can fix all the tarnish, but if not, it's gotta go This one's really cute, but I'm gonna say goodbye this one It had its time with me. It's this really cute pink layered necklace, but I don't wear it much anymore So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is very very cute, but I just don't think it's my style anymore. It kind of has that like boho feel that I just don't really go for that often. This one, I did really like this one as well. It's really fun. It's kind of like layered, but I don't really reach for it. So I'm going to say goodbye. And then this is another like layered one. It has some little jewels on there, but it does have a boho feel. So I'm going to get rid of that one as well. This is like a family vintage piece. So I'm going to keep that, but I'm going to move it to my other jewelry box. This is a cute little like layered necklace. It's very, very cute and stylish, but 
I don't think it's really my style, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is a layered pearl necklace. It's really cute. I'm gonna try it on and see if I still like it. This one I think is actually a duplicate of the necklace I just shared like in the previous one, but um, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this one. This, let's see, there's lots of chains there. I'm gonna try this on, but more than likely I'm going to get rid of it. And then this one, it's really cute and I really liked all of these like sparkling discs. They look really pretty on, but but I think I might get rid of it. This one is a super cute choker. I think I'm gonna keep it. I need to try it on though. This one, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one has like some rhinestones and some pearls. I'm going to try this one on. I do like how it looks, but I need to see what it looks like on me. This one, I think I actually have a similar one in my <laughs> vault. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This I've had pretty much since I started my blog, so it does have some sentimental meaning and it looks really Really beautiful on. I'm gonna try it on again, but I do think I'm gonna keep that one. I love this one. It is so old though. It's tarnishing and I don't know if I can fix that. So I don't know. We'll see about that. Uh, this is a little locket. I do love this. The chain is tarnished or at least it looks like it. <laughs> So I don't know, might get a new chain for that if I can't fix that. And then this is a little choker. This one is also kind of tarnished. So a lot of these are a little bit older. I do really like this. It's very pretty. I just need to see if I can kind of clean that up a little bit. I think that this one is adorable. I love the little bow and the flower. This is a little choker. So I think I'm going to keep that one. This is actually a duplicate. Brand new, never worn, still has the tag. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one, very pretty but I've never really wore it so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one I do think is really pretty so I'm gonna try that one on and then this little pendant I think I might get rid of that and this little layering necklace I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that as well. These are my super massive statement necklaces. <laughs> I've had this one for a long time, but I actually haven't really worn it too much, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this one I've had forever. It's from J. Crew. I don't know why, but I really, really love it. So I might keep this one. I'm gonna try it on. I also have this really pretty bar necklace, and it's super, super sparkly, but I've never worn it because it arrived broken, and the chain is so small and dainty. I can't fix it myself. I don't know if this can be fixed. So if you know a way, let me know in a comment. Okay. When I was organizing, I actually found a few more pairs of earrings. This one is from Bubble Bar. It's really cute. I wish I could wear them. I might get rid of them. This one is from Lacey Lurch. They're really cute. This is a maybe. I do really love these. I think they're adorable. I wish my ears were pierced. <laughs> and then these I will definitely keep their Kate Spade and they were a gift from a brand that I worked with and this is my G-Shock and I typically wear this when I go camping or when I'm traveling or something like that. <laughs> Here is the final look at all of the jewelry that I'm getting rid of. So I will be consigning, donating, and selling a lot of this. And I'm really proud of myself. I think I did really good. I tried to be as brutal as possible. I still do have another pile that's kind of like a maybe, but I think that I'm probably just going to say goodbye to them. <laughs> I completely cleaned off my necklace bars and one of my jewelry bars um, for my bracelets, which is pretty amazing. And then, of course, I took some out of my jewelry box and yeah, this is a ton of jewelry. I think I did a pretty good job this time. I completely cleared off this little tiered tray. I've had jewelry on it since I can remember. Same with these two necklace bars. Completely <laughs> cleaned them off. And these are my travel jewelry cases. I usually have them out displayed because they're so pretty, but I kind of want a more streamlined look on my dresser because it gets a little too cluttered. So I think I'm going to put these these in the closet um, with you know all of my travel stuff so that I can keep them handy. These are other jewelry pieces that I don't necessarily want to get rid of but I don't need them so this is like my baby ring from my grandmother, some bangles, my little heirloom jewels from the family and then these are just a few 
like a handful of statement necklaces that I absolutely love and can't part with yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep them there and then if I don't reach for them, you know, in a while, then I'll probably get rid of them. As for all of my jewelry, I did put everything in the vault and my watch box is looking good. I have one necklace bar full of statement necklaces. I might put these away too, but I feel like out of all of them, these are the ones that I'm more likely to wear. And I have two bracelet bars still, but I actually removed one completely and then I just put my bracelets on both and just spread them out a little bit. This one just has like some little things like a vintage hair clip, some seashells and things like that. This completely cleared off, aside from my watch. <laughs> and then this also completely cleared off. And then my jewelry box just has everything in it. I did take a few things out and I did kind of rearrange it a little bit. I do think there's still a lot in here. <laughs> But I do really love and use all of the jewelry in here. So overall, I'd say that it was a pretty successful clean out. And it makes me want to clean out everything. <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I did this before I tackled my closet because my closet is very overwhelming. But I think this is going to make things so much easier. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you loved this video and I hope you loved getting a look at my jewelry collection. And if you did, please make sure to hit the thumbs up below and don't forget to share and subscribe. I would love to have you as part of the community. I would love to know if you collect anything. Are you a jewelry lover as well? Um, are you currently doing any decluttering of your own? feel free to leave a comment below. And as always, for even more feminine content, make sure to check out my blog, lizzieinlace.com and my pretty pink Instagram at lizzieinlace. I'll see you next time. Bye.